the human experience is a lot of feelings of guilt. And it builds and builds and builds. And it really turns one into a, a big victim. We come to this point, coming into true embodied realization. We come into this point, and it's a decision on your part, conscious decision. The master sitting, waiting. Yeah, I am conscious decision on your part. Are you going to stop playing the game of being? a victim to yourself. You know what it's like to be a victim to external things, bad families, bad relationships, business losses, all, all the rest of that. And we've gotten beyond that. Now we have to take a, take a turn to you being a victim, playing a victim to your own guilt. Look how guilt has caused you to live your life, make decisions. How it's caused you not to enjoy a lot of things in life. I would say the worst thing to do with guilt is to try to process it to address it in any way, to delve into it, to have it counseled. That's exactly what guilt wants. But to say I am done playing the victim game on myself, game over, no more guilt, blow it up. That's what we're here to do. This doesn't apply to all humans, no, not at all. It's about you, you, where we are right now. In a very strange way of speaking, humans, most humans, still need guilt. They, they need it for their survival, for their identity, they, they need that element of guilt, still an essential in their life. Not for you. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it to regulate yourself, keep yourself from being a bad person. There's a lot of addiction guilt that, uh, that Chamber has. a lot of relationship guilt. And we're here, I'm here to call you on your game. There's, there's some weird spiritual guilt, you know, mostly past life stuff. Going back to you into the time of Yeshua and the work that you came to do, spent many lifetimes trying to maintain the sacredness of some of that wisdom from, from the times of Yeshua, feeling guilty that you didn't do it right. But what the guilt is, isn't important. And trying to go figure it out isn't important. What's important is before we come to emergence, before we really open up, I've got to ask you, I've been away for a month. I got to ask you now, me to you one-on-one, -on -one, are you ready to give up that game? It's either a yes or a no, that's it. Yes or no nothing else. Don't say anything in between. 
Are you ready to give up guilt? Being a victim to yourself. It is a huge game. And it will hold you back. You may say that the guilt has kept you from repeating mistakes. You may say that guilt is even a little bit of your own self-imposed punishment. You may say that guilt is nothing that you really can control. It's just there. It's a demon. You may say that it comes from somebody or somewhere else. No, it's all a game. very simple question I ask is are, are you ready to stop being a victim that's it you can let it go just like that the word victim is generally used referring to your experiences relationships with the external being a victim to somebody or something else on the outside. I've never heard it referred to as being a victim to yourself. Your own guilt, shame. Shame of being a human. Falling from grace coming to this planet, taking on a physical body. You bet you never really thought of yourself being a victim to yourself. you know there's also something in it that you've really liked there's something you've really liked about being guilty you're calling you on it right now Guilt is one of those interesting kind of emotional human characteristics. It's so sticky and so, oh, kind of um, dirty and shameful, so insidious until you stop for a moment and realize the game. It likes you to think that it's really sticky and dirty and nasty and insidious and creepy crawling or all around all around your house the metaphorical house just like cockroaches termites it likes you to think that it likes you to think that it's hard to get rid of that you're not worthy You actually kind of like the feeling. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You like the feeling of being in guilt. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. I'll tell you something else about guilt. Depending how you look at it. It's also like Teflon. You know, no stick surface. If you don't engage in it, you don't try to process it, figure it out. If you don't go into its emotional seduction, it's like Teflon, so easy. Just, it's gone. So on one hand, you can perceive it to be so sticky, nasty, 
hidden in the recesses of your house. You can't get rid of it. You fall victim to it. If that's a game you want to play, or you just take a deep breath, stop playing the game. It's gone. It's, it's gone that fast. Kind of like two sides of the same coin. Nasty old guilt being a victim or truly it's just letting it go. Gone. So I'm putting it to you once again. It's a simple yes or no. Are you done playing the game of being victim to yourself? Good deep breath. Guilt, shame. I go so deep sometimes, but when we're in a safe space like this, it's also really one of the easiest to walk away from. A human sometimes has a difficult time with that. They, well, they struggle and say, I, I can't just let it go like that. Or doesn't the universe keep score? No, it doesn't. The universe does not keep score. Only you do. Well, feel it for a moment. Feel the master. The master is the wisdom of all your lifetimes. Feel into it for a moment. The master doesn't keep score. The master turns everything into wisdom. The master doesn't judge. The I am consciousness itself doesn't have a book of right and wrong. The I am does not even know what karma is, nor would it care are all human perceptions. So yes, you can walk away from it, this guilt, anytime you want, anytime you want the game to stop. I want you to watch yourself over the next month until our next shout. How often are you going to think about and struggle with this issue of guilt, shame? Are you going to turn this into a mental exercise of how big a victim you are? Are you going to go write stories? Put them on social media about guilt and victimness. Because if you do all these things, you're still in that sticky energy. You're still in your own game and it's your own. It's nobody else's. You're still in drama. Or you just walk away. Stop playing the game. There are no consequences to ending the game in terms of penalties or anything else. If you end the game now, it doesn't make you a better or a worse person or spirit. It doesn't put you back on the road to realization and doesn't advance you. You either Stop playing the game or not. That's it. That's it. Good deep breath. Next month, we come into the emergence series. We start not just realizing that we have wings, we start using them.
That's why at this last shout of the wing series, I asked that question, are you ready to stop playing the game of guilt victim? That's it. Decisions are going to be different. Your energy flow will be different. Your ability to spread your wings will certainly change. Yes, you initially are going to feel like some emptiness in you, some holes in you. You say no more of being a guilt victim. There'll be some emptiness because it's been filled for a long time. Long time with some of your guilt. But those holes, that emptiness are quickly going to be filled by consciousness. by real feelings, not these false feelings, by real feelings. The guilt has taken up so much space in your sensory mechanism that has prevented you from actually feeling all these other senses that we've talked about from really feeling, from really experiencing. And you can look at guilt any way you want. You can try to look at where it might have come from or why it's there or how it got there none of it matters it's either time to stop playing your game or not and it is a huge game perhaps the biggest game a human ever plays yeah, guilt being a victim to yourself. I'm kind of just passing time here. Well, I'm feeling into all of your energies and we've gone from confusion to being very uncomfortable, even some anger in this, in this Mirab, just gone from confusion, some anger and some sadness. Now what I'm sensing is so many of you are taking a deep breath and just saying, the game just ended. And even if the mind cannot quite know where to file this game, how to, how to think about it, you have the intuitive, you have the innate feeling enough so you can say the game ends. I am not 
going to keep playing it. It's not a game on the outside, it's a game on the inside. Guilt. Let's take a good deep breath. Good deep breath. So I would say about 38% um, of you have clearly answered the question, are you going to stop playing the game? There's no, there's no race, there's no time limit for the rest of you, but some of you are thinking about it, then you hear yourself saying yes, and the next minute saying no, and then you're getting right back into a game. But uh, I'll give you 24 hours uh, to make that decision, yes or no. It's, and again, we don't want to overprocess this, but guilt is a huge self-imposed game. That's it. Self-imposed game. It'll tie up your energy and tie up your realization. You can let it go just by saying, "I'm done with the game," and then don't worry about it. Don't don't process it. It will go on its own. It's going to be like Teflon. But if you dive into it and start trying to analyze it and everything else, it's really, really, really sticky. So let's take a deep breath. You've got 24 hours to consider. And then onward into emergence. And with that, no matter what you decide, remember, all is well in all of creation. Thank you. Thank you.